What's up YouTube? Tonight we are doing a gold bottle cap guide. This is how to get uh, basically infinite gold bottle caps in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. And let's get into it. Uh, so I'm going to give you some information how, how, how to get it. And uh, I'm actually going to you know, go about finding it too. Then I can show you actually how to use the gold bottle caps and such as well. Okay, so first we want to go to Celadon City. Let's go ahead and fly there. Hope you guys have been... Uh, enjoying this uh, Let's Go content as well. Now, I do have a couple of Thief Teams that are coming up t tomorrow. I've got one. I'm pretty sure I've got one tomorrow or the next day. should be uh, coming up. Anyway, so let's get into one. We want to go here to the game corner. So, right here. All right. So, let me give you some information. So, in this game corner, there are hidden items, right? Now, you can pick these hidden items up. Now, they do actually randomize. Uh, so, pretty much what I'd suggest, uh, just... You know, just go here or whatever at the start. Uh, just go save. Now, bear in mind before you even start, if you've got a, a shiny chain going on your Pokemon, uh, this method will stop that chain. So make sure you don't have a chain going because, you know, you want to... Uh, you definitely uh, don't want that to happen. So no chaining shinies. Don't don't have a chain. If you want to get a shiny, do your shiny before you do this. Okay, because obviously this uh, requires you, you know, um, soft resetting or... A hard or soft resetting, whatever you want to call it, your uh, Nintendo Switch. Okay, so pretty much there are six locations of hidden items in this room, and they do um, change every uh, you know 24 hours or so. However, if you do turn off your Nintendo Switch, the items will actually change, right? So let's give you an example. We're going to find uh, a gold bottle cap in here. I'm just going to keep recording until I find one. Um, we may do a little time lapse section. We may not. You also can find just normal bottle caps in here too. You know, as well as many other items. So, uh, let's let's just... I'm going to get rid of my rope. I don't need a lure. Okay, so there's quite a few uh, little locations. So, pretty much, uh, there's one right here next to this old dude. Uh, let's see if I got the right spot. Alright, I think it's about here. There we go. Okay, so we got a pineapple. That's the first one. Alright. Now, there's another one here, between the flowers. So, we got another pineapple. Obviously, it's not guaranteed, um, but yeah, make sure you save beforehand because uh, we want to, you know, we want to kind of uh, reset again. Alright, I know there's one near this poster. There's a Nana Berry. Okay, now, there's one over here. I've, if you guys know of any more locations of these hidden items in this room, but I'm pretty sure these are the only ones. Okay, there's a Raspberry. Alright. And I think there's one right here. Next to this machine. Maybe maybe here. Go again. Here. Okay, there's a raspberry. Okay, so we didn't get it the first time, unfortunately. But uh, what we need to do now is we need to actually do a reset of our game. So pretty much, we saved it already. So now we can just... We can bring up the menu, just click the home, actually just click the home menu and uh, just go into, you know, you want to go close software. So close the software and once again, I stress, make sure you don't have a shiny chart because it will definitely be finished. Okay, go close and that's going to close the software, right? Okay, so now you can go back into it. Remember what items I got there before as well because they are going to be different now, which is quite interesting. Now... For those people who are already thinking about this, oh, I can change the time and date and get around this. No, it doesn't work. Uh, they will be locked for 24 hours in, so don't try that. It will not work. If anyone does have any uh, other ways to get around this or have tried this, please let me know. But this is what I, you know, have uh, known so far. So we're going to have a couple of goes. I actually want to get it, uh, you know, live here uh, for you guys. Or I may do, as I said, I may do a little time lapse as well. Plus then I want to show how the, uh, you know, the uh, the bottle caps and stuff work. Where I can show you a, if we can get a, 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 you know, a normal bottle cap and a gold bottle cap. And then I can show you how they work and stuff. Um, you know, and how they affect your IVs, which are very important. Okay, so now we're back at the normal spot. Let's uh, let's let's go and do them. So we'll, we'll just go this, this we'll just go this way this time. Okay, so that see how that item was actually different from before. That was actually a raspberry, I believe, before. Okay, so we got that one. Now, okay, see see basically the same thing happened last time. All right, we can just go. Yeah, get this. Okay, I think it's about here. Sorry, guys, I'm just like, I'm like really, I'm like really tired today. Okay, we got raspberry. God damn. Okay, now this. This, this is pretty much something you just need to keep trying until you get it. There's a tough candy. Okay. Oh, we want to go in between the flowers. Candy XL. Alright. Wait, I, I think I I think I may miss one back here. Okay, Nano Berry. 
Right, and there's the one next to the old man. Come on, old man. Give me your give me your powers. Quick can you. Alright, well that was a flop. Let's go again. So if that was a flop, just go, you know, X the closure software and we'll close it again and close the software. Okay, we'll, we'll give it one more go. If I can't get it, I'll do like a little time lapse. So you guys can have like an idea how long it takes me. And uh, yeah, that, that kind of thing. Or feel feel free to pretty much, if, if, you need to, if you need to skip through this part, feel free to do that. Um, if you want to watch exactly in real time how long it takes. Some people like to watch in real time how long it takes. You know, some just want to get to the point. That's cool. Uh, maybe you could do like a, just like a little experiment or something. I, I do want to explain the IVs and stuff, how to go about get, uh, using the bolt, gold bottle cap and the caps once we get them, right? That's something I definitely want to explain. Okay, uh, so we're going to continue our adventure. Let's do this again. <laughs> okay, so last time we were right here. Okay, health candy again. Dun, dun, dun. That's re actually really annoying. Before I do that, I'm going to get rid of that so it, that it doesn't keep happening every time. Oh god, I think... I always miss... Okay, it's right there. PP up. So that was different from last time. So all these items I randomized, right? No, no, Barry. We're not going to give... It's kind of like the item room. That, um... I, I may do a, I may do a video on that. Um, I actually haven't found one as of yet. But, uh, you know, when I, when I find it, I'll do it. Okay, pine up, Barry. So you just... Pretty much, this is, this is just a grind. You, gotta, you just got to be patient, though. Now, there is another way of getting a gold bottle cap... But uh, you kind of you have to battle. I think it's Mina, uh, the Alola trainer. You got about you can battle her once a day. That gives you a gold bottle cap as well. That's another way. So you can battle her, then you can you know, you can do this method. Okay, guys, pretty much I'm gonna speed this little bit up there and see if we can find it. I'll be right back when we do find it. Oh, guys, we got it. There we go. We found the gold bottle cap. So I only, like, that wasn't actually very long at all. I may even, I may even leave the length of the video up as it is because it really, that took me, that took me about nine minutes to find that. There you go. There's the gold bottle cap. Let's do the rest of the items anyway. Man, that, that was, that was like super duper quick. I'm not really a hundred percent sure what the rates are, but uh, yeah, I found that in, you know, nine minutes. Okay, there's a nano berry. Damn son, that that was that was that was good. Okay, so we got our we got our gold bottle cap. Let's keep going. We got the nano berry. Okay, in between the pots, pine up berry, and next to the old man. Got a. All right, we're down here. I, I I even after doing this so many times, like I still mess it up. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much how you get unlimited. Uh, uh, gold bottle cap. So we've already found an item. So pretty much now we got to wait to uh, you know, about midnight, and as soon as the clock turns around, and then all those items, you know, you they'll randomize again. You, you obviously you can refine them all again. So that's really good. You can do that as you know, obviously as many times uh, to get the gold bottle cap. And yeah, that's pretty much it. How to get gold bottle caps? Um, you can also get silver caps as well. Um, they only do one stat. Okay. Anyway, let's get into explaining how, uh, you know, the, uh, caps work. So we've got the Celadon City. Now we want to go for, we want to go for a little fly. Okay. Also, I only just figured this out, guys, but I know, Kath, I think Kath was roasting me because she was, uh, all you have to do to bring the EV menu up is just shake your remote. It brings the EV up straight away. Like, it literally took me this whole time to know that. Okay, so we want to go to, I believe it's on Route 5. There's like a, there's like an old, old dude there, um, and we need to... Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, all right. So we need to go... Actually, let's just go to Saffron City and go up from there. Okay. So to be able to use these gold bottle caps on your Pokemon, we got to power up uh, the IVs. Now, let me explain how that works. So if you got a Pokemon with really cruddy IVs, right? This gold bottle cap will max them out. However, there is a catch that you do need to be... Uh, level 100 to be able to do that, right? So you got to get your Pokemon to level 100 before you can use this item. Now, this is going to be really handy in, like, battles and stuff because, obviously, uh, you know, 
AVs aren't actually counted, but IVs are definitely counted. So this is going to be super handy, guys. Like, gold bottle caps are going to be, like, a really, really important one. Okay, so we want to go into Route 5. There should be, like, an old dude here. Let's, let's, hit, let's hit him up, right? Okay, uh, how's the champion? I'm hyper. I train level 100 Pokemon with my special hype, hyper training. Bring me a gold bottle cap and I'll train one. Okay, we've got a... Okay, which hyper training? Okay, we got... Let, let's actually... Let's, before we do that, let's actually decide a Pokemon um, we want to hyper train. So we need to have a level 100 Pokemon. I will do a little cut here and get the Pokemon I need and I will be right back. Okay, people, uh, so we are going to do this on a Pidgeot. Alright, we're going to go to uh, Pokemon we want to pick. So in this case, I'm going to be picking a Pidgeot. Now, remember, they need to be level 100 as well. Uh, so basically, this is telling you... Actually, I need to give you... I need to show you. I, I need to show you a before and after. So we're going to go to Party. We're going to look at the Pidgeot. So we're going to go to Judge, right? So we got the Pidgeot here. As you guys can see, it's got one best in speed, right? So we need to get all the others to best, right? That'll 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 mean all its IVs will be maxed after we do this. So quickly, I'm I'm just gonna say before I do this because you know I may not want to use it on this pitch up. I may just want to keep it. But uh, yeah, let's do this. So we want to go yes to hyper training. And we're going to go Pidgeot. And which one of the stats you want to do some hype training on? And then you, the only option for gold bottle cap is all. Say if you had a normal uh, silver bottle cap, bottle cap, um, it'll it'll tell you what's like it'd say what stipulate what stat you want to rise because normal uh, you know bottle caps only do one stat, whereas gold does all. So we're going to click all. We exchange a gold bottle cap to train all the Pidgeot stats. Yes. Then get hyped because I'm about to do some real hyper training on Pidgeot. Okay. Hey ya. Pidgeot grew stronger thanks to the hyper training. Okay. Uh, we don't have any more gold bottle, bottle caps at the moment. But more importantly, let's have a look at our Pidgeot. So we're going to go to summary. We're going to go to judge. And there you go, guys. A perfect six IV Pidgeot. So that's how you go about doing the gold bottle cap and hyper training. Hope you guys found this video informative. Um, I, I I try I actually I may speed up little bits in the in 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 the middle, but uh, it's sort of like it was kind of cool to show you like the actual real time of this video. Um, I may have some more uploads later on. We'll just see. I've, I did actually upload a couple of shiny hunts that I did, but um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this actually helped you uh, do some stuff, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.